Welcome to Owaka City. This picturesque town is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is well known for its delicious food, local markets and charming streets. We have one day to really soak up everything this city has to offer and today we will not only be exploring Owaka City but two sites just out of the city. Monte Alban, an archaeological site from the time of the Teotihuacan people. God damn, phenomenal. Really, really impressive. As well as El Tule. Oh my god. <gasps> it is really Oh really my cool. god. This okay. is something, guys. Wow, I think this is the coolest thing we've done all day. Just making our way to the Hotel Riviera del Angel because that is where we can get the buses that go to Monte Album. From what I understand, they leave every hour, either on the hour or the half an hour, so we're about to go find out. Alright, so it's 90 pesos per ticket to get to Monte Album, and that includes the return ticket and they seem to leave every hour as well, which is great. So it turns out you just buy your tickets from the Hotel Rivera, but the bus terminal is actually a couple blocks away. So we're just gonna walk there now, but she said basically just one block down this way, two blocks right, and we're there. Easy peasy, <laughs> Mac easy. Easy peasy, <laughs> lemon squeezy. So this is where you gotta go. Look for her and she will tell you where to go. If she doesn't happen to be there, look for this building. Look for the green bus. That easy. A quick bus ride. Now we did go up quite a few meters of altitude, so it's a bit chilly up here. All right, there is a bit of a line to grab some tickets, but right next to the booth is these machines, so we're just gonna buy them from there. You can pay on card. If it works. If it works. There we go. Well, I think we just saved ourselves a lot of time. Okay, first impressions, it's very green. The only other archaeological site we've been to is Teotihuacan in Mexico, well, near Mexico City. It was very arid, desert-like, hot. It was also a really flat area, so the whole walking around was quite easy, but much hotter. This is so green and it's beautiful. It's really nice. We're in like completely different part of Mexico here. So the scenery, the mountains, there's amazing views. It's a bit more hilly, but it's not as grand as Teotihuacan. The sculptures, uh, the buildings aren't as big. They don't seem quite as well maintained or possibly restored. A little. They're not as well restored, but the views what, yeah. and the greenery is like really nice. Yeah, what is grand about this place is the view and like the strategic mm. strategical position you imagine why they built it here in the first place. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah, like if you have an imagination and you can picture this, what it was in its day, then yeah, this like right is like now. really impressive. This really is something. Oh my god, and there's a dark clouds. You can even see it behind as well. There's one there. It feels so moody and it adds to it. It actually. adds so much to yeah. the place and it's so big. Look at that. God damn. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Really, really impressive. Definitely worth a day trip from Awaka. 
it'd probably just take you half a day really but um, I would say get a guide I think this would be more enjoyable if we knew a little bit more information We just learned that apparently all of the structures in this city and in like all of the cities like this were actually planned based on astrology. It's fascinating that they could see the stars and just be like, okay, well, I'm gonna put my house there because that star is there. <laughs> and then the romantic one would be like, but my house is where my star is and my star is right next to me right now. Oh, is that how you feel? Well, I mean, I wouldn't build you around you. <laughs> There is a monumental set of stairs ahead of us. Unfortunately, a bunch of kids just beat us to it. And a monumental amount of school kids. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you ready for a workout? Look at this bad boy. It's also not just a normal set of stairs. I mean, let me sh let's huge. Jacqueline show how big a step is. Yeah. <laughs> that was hard. So as Jacqueline mentioned, it is something we recommend getting a guide for. Like obviously the site is insanely beautiful and it leaves you with so many more questions if you don't have a guide. If you're on a budget, it's fine. It's still worth coming to. Ah, it's still worth coming. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're gonna leave because we have a big day ahead of us. So many fun things to do. So many good food to eat as well. <laughs> because, uh, stomach is asking for a little treat really and this place is known apparently i don't know about that but for good hot chocolate and uh, i wouldn't mind one of those all right now it is time to head back to Oaxaca and actually explore the city all right food time so we've come to the November 20 market uh, because here is where all the locals eat and there's heaps of different little restaurants where you can get some food. There's also a alley if you're a big meat fan. There's an alley where they cook all of this smoky alley with all these meats and then you can buy your vegetables and kind of sort of like have a make your own meal thing. It's really cool. This is the one. Vegetarian option. It's very, very meaty here. Not that we're against it, but right now we need some vegetarian options. Uh, so we chose this particular one because we saw it last time we were here and it had like a whole vegetarian Gracias. menu, which is really great for us. The prices are also very reasonable, which is I guess why all of the locals eat here. Uh, last time we were here, we didn't see any tourists, and I haven't seen any today either. So maybe it's just not a busy day, but yeah. All locals. It's very clean, like super duper clean. It's not like a wet market or anything like that. All right, so I got the vegetarian tostadas. They're huge and they look amazing. I'm not exactly sure what you, how you're supposed to eat tostadas. Pizza? Ah. Alright, we actually really need to hurry because we are heading now towards a walking tour so that we can get to know a walker by a local and we're gonna be late if we don't run so we better get going. But I highly recommend spending a bit more time here and trying the uh, the chocolate con leche here as well. It seems like all of the different stores do it, so I don't know if it's good. You'll have to try it and let us know in the comments. So the tour that we are running towards right now, because we are currently four minutes late, 
is actually a free walking tour of Owaka that is hosted by a local. So obviously you give a tip of whatever you think is reasonable and fair once you're done with the tour. But it's really nice that they do this free tour and you get to get all of this information. I think this is something that I would recommend doing at the beginning of your trip in Oaxaca so that you can kind of get a lay of the land and learn where things are. I'm sure they'll also be able to give us heaps of recommendations. Sorry, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, we're late. Uh, English. English perfect. Alright, we've just started walking. <laughs> we luckily made it. He's super friendly. And we actually just found out the market where we just had our lunch, November 20 market, is actually the most famous market in Owaka. And that's when the Mexican Revolution started. That's why it's called November 20. There you go. I've already got a fact we can leave now. <laughs> Have you ever seen this dog in Mexico? Tell you about this in a minute and also Mary Ellen. In this place, I'm going to tell you very, very quickly my recommendation of food. Do you know by any chance the most famous food you can find in Oaxaca? Mole. Moles, exactly. In Oaxaca, we have seven traditional types of moles. Do you know the most famous mole? The black negro. one. The black one, mole negro. Why is this? It's made with, all of the moles are made with chilies, but uh, mole negro is made with chili uh, uh, chile pasilla and chocolate. They normally mix them in a blender. They produce some sort of like sauce. They give it to you with some chicken, some rice, and then the sauce on top. Is it good? I'm not gonna lie, I love mole. My favorite one, I recommend you 100% to try this one, estofado. That's the mole I recommend you, estofado. It's made with olives and chilies. Is it good? Really good guys, okay? Like they're really, really delicious. All right, the uh, walking tour has been interrupted by the pouring rain. So we've actually, luckily we were right at this market, which is one of our stops anyway. So we're gonna hang out in here for 15 minutes, grab a snack and yeah, hopefully the rain will pass. It's an organic food market. It looks actually really good. I wish it wasn't raining. So the reasons why hot chocolate is one of the things to try here in Oaxaca is because Mexico is very famous for chocolate, for juicy chocolate. But apparently here in Oaxaca, it's a big deal. The chocolate is specific and they love their hot chocolates here. So it's almost like if you come to Oaxaca, you're gonna try mezcal. You also have to try chocolate con carne. Cheers. Chocolate con carne? No, what did I say? Chocolate con leche. <laughs> Meat chocolate. Ew. Actually, they would because they make right. mole. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Good. It's got it like some different. cinnamon. It's not like a normal hot chocolate. That's like a Dijon. I'm going to down this. Oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> November 20 market you actually got a bowl of hot chocolate it was like twice the size of this and you also got this big bun to dip in it which I don't know what the deal is with that but it looked good it's like a 4 p.m. Bread. treats for French kids <laughs> hot chocolate with bread anyway the walking tour has been really really amazing there is a little bit more for us to do now that the rain has calmed down but definitely one of the things that we would recommend here in Owaka and we will put the link to the one that we're doing in the description like I said earlier it's free which is amazing you just tip at the end whatever you feel is fair and whatever you're happy with on the gilded forest path when an ecstasy came aqueduct of the city before that they used to have to walk three hours each way and this is a leftover <laughs> Okay, that 
that walk into Oahu was actually really amazing. Every time we have walked the streets here in Oahu, we've walked a different street, we found something new, and everything that he showed us on that tour was something we hadn't seen yet and obviously didn't know. He was super passionate and super knowledgeable um, about the local area and its history, so highly recommend. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. We'll put the link in the description so you can jump on that one. And now we are going to be heading just a little bit out of Owaka to go see the famous El Tool Tree. We'll tell you a bit more in a moment. We got a collectible. It's I think single pesos each. Okay, so about a short 15 minute collective ride and we have arrived in Santa Maria del Tool, which is where El Tool is located. So the reason we're going to see this tree, which is exactly what it is, is that it is like the widest base tree. So it's got the most girth to it. It's the biggest one in the world. It's also, they estimate that it's 2000 years old which is insane. And apparently inside the tree trunk, because it's so old, it's got all of these unique shapes and uh, apparently they look like things. So let's go check it out. Max? Yeah. The reason why I'm like this is because I don't want to see it before I get there. Oh, oh wow. Effort. Okay, we got our tickets, they are 20 pesos each to see it. So not very expensive. So we're happy to pay for that one. Max is still hiding his face now because we're walking towards it. Now they can it. see it from the back of the camera. Don't look, people. That's your... him. <laughs> okay, can oh, I look? Oh my god, wow. Can I look? Okay, just wait one second, wait one second. Okay. <laughs> now. So I got okay. Now? Oh my god. Oh. It is really oh cool. my god. This okay. is something, guys. Okay, um. Wow. That's how big it is. Yeah, wow. That is oh, wow. Moly. That is one tree. Yeah, that is one tree. So there has been um, apparently some like arguments about whether or not it was one tree because when you see it, it looks like multiple trees but actually they did DNA testing and it is for sure the same tree. It's just the roots over so many thousands of years. Oh my God, it is... Wow, I think this is the coolest thing we've done all day. Oh I've never seen anything like it ever in my life. Have I ever seen anything like this? That is insane. I don't know if you guys can really tell on the camera how big this is. Oh my God. It is estimated that at least 30 people with intertwined hands would be necessary to be able to cover it, I guess, the circumferences. It can approximately fit 500 people in its shadow. How crazy is this? All right, now as it sounds very geeky when you say just come see a tree, but it's really something. Like I honestly recommend you to come and do it. Now we're gonna head to our next stop. This town of Santa Maria is really, really charming. It's really beautiful. And we were told by a local guide that the food here is really good. So maybe if you're not able to have lunch at the November 20 market, you can try having lunch here and to kind of make it a little bit more worth your while to come here. It was really easy and very affordable to get here. But like we said, it is a little bit far out of town. Okay, we've made it back to Owaka now and we really need to get something to eat. But before we do, I just wanted to mention Herve El Agua, which is definitely should be in this video of top things to do here in Owaka. It is a day trip though. It took us a full day to get there, enjoy Herve El Agua and get back as well. So we actually made an entire vlog just about that one, but we needed to mention this one because if you are here in Owaka, you absolutely should go there on a day trip. If you don't want to do a tour as well and you want to kind of figure out how to do it on your own like we did, definitely go and check out that vlog next. We'll put the link down in the description and let's go get something to eat now. All right, we found a little restaurant. It's nearby where we're staying. Actually, it's called Cabuche, but honestly, 
much all the restaurants we've been to here in Owaka have been pretty good. So you can just go find any of them really. But this one, oh my God, we ordered a burrito, which we were actually told is like gringo Mexican, but we like what we like. So we ordered that and it came with this massive salad on the side. It looks really good. We also got tal taluda. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, um, which is a tortilla with fried beans and cheese, and we got this mushroom and corn on the side, with some avocado on the side. This looks really good. It looks like very healthy, fresh Mexican. Eating a burrito with cutlery. Oh my oh, god. Am I? We, a big day. Yeah, we are so hungry. We've done, we've walked like 20,000 steps today, guys, so we are starving, so we are going to enjoy it. All right, people, this is all you'll get from us in Oaxaca. It's been such a huge day, guys. All of what you've seen today was in one day. Except for Huawei Alagua, which obviously we didn't do today, but definitely go and do that. We hope that this vlog has been helpful for you if you do come to visit Oaxaca. And let us know in the comments, for those of you that live here or that have been here or that are planning on coming here and that have decided to do a few things, what is it that you recommend doing? And we'll see you in the next one in a very cool location. Bye, guys. Bye. Look at this, Grandma. Watch your knees, huh? <laughs> we don't want to pay for another hip replacement. <laughs> oh my god, look how big these bananas are. I think I just found the biggest bananas I've ever seen in my life. I wonder how many people made love under it back in the days. 2,000 years old, I'm sure there's a few babies that's been conceived under that tree.